Hello guys, welcome back. As mentioned in my previous video, I will be showing you how to use the Gemma model from Google using Langchain and Chainlit. As I showed you in my previous video, we downloaded the model using uh, using Olama, right? Now we will be using that model with Langchain and we will be deploying that into Chainlit. I'm creating a series of videos on how to run uh, different LLMs locally with different tools and techniques so that you can quickly utilize these tools for any models out there which is hosted in Olama website. I will also create one video in the future how to let's say create your own model uh, with Olama which is hosted in Hugging Face so that you are not restricted with just the models uh, which are in the Olama's website. But for now uh, let's just go and create a simple uh, chat GPT like chat GPT style like UI with a chain lead which uses Gemma model from Olama and using Langchain and our traces will be logged into Langsmith. Let's get started. So as you can see here I am on the GitHub repo of Langchain Gemma Olama chain lead. The first thing you can do is go just go here in the code section SSH or HTTPS just copy this and you can follow the instructions which I have mentioned in this uh, readme file. So I will just go to my terminal. As you can see, I already cloned this, right? So the next thing is I need to go inside this repository. I will do ls. You can see there is Langchain, Gemma, Olama, Chainlit. I will go inside this folder. And now I will open this in VS Code. But before opening in VS Code, what we can do is uh, let me just uh, follow the steps here. So we need to create a virtual environment, right? What you can do is just copy the thing that I have mentioned here uh, to create a virtual environment. So I can do Python 3 and it creates a virtual environment. So always create a virtual environment before, uh, let's say, using Python projects. So the uh, packages are isolated from your uh, machines. And the next thing is about this Langsmith. Now I will open this in the IDE for me I will be using the VS code so I will open this in VS code so it's easier for me to explain uh, you uh, this is the VS code so the next step now we can open this uh, readme file here already in VS code right uh, the next step is we need this is by the way optional if you want to trace it into Lang, uh, Langsmith or not I'm not going to go through uh, Langsmith in this video because I have already created a videos for Lang Smith for beginners. So you can just follow there. Uh, I have explained in depth in that video, but I'm going to go to the Lang Smith uh, website here. And now it says that I need to log in, right? I will go with continue with Google. And now I'm inside Lang Smith. I will go and create a project. Here I will just give the example, let's say Gemma, and then I will say Olama chain lead. Just like that. And I will say submit. And in the setup, you can go and take all the things. For me, I have already provided other things, but I will just get this uh, project. I will go to the VS Code. Uh, where is the VS Code here? And I need to first rename this, right? I will go here and rename, but you can already do from the terminal also, as it is mentioned here. Copy example.env to .env, and then you can replace that. But I'm just going to rename this to just uh, .env and if I go inside you can see there is already the default ones in your projects we will just replace that and again I will go to the Langsmith website and in API keys I am going to create a new API key I will copy this now again I will go to VS Code just paste in this place here with the key I am showing you the key because I am going to delete this after this so I will say control yes is safe the good part of chain lead is, as I have mentioned many times, is once you have .env in the root folder here, all the environment variables will be taken automatically by, uh, let's say, chain lead. And the next thing is uh, pip install dash r requirements.txt, but I already did, uh, I think that. Uh, did I did that in the terminal? Uh, no, I created the virtual environment. So yeah, now I can install the requirements, right? And all the things is mentioned, let's say, in the requirement.txt, the two things, Langchain and Chainlit. So I will do pip install requirements.txt. So yeah, all the packages, well, all the packages, it's just the Langchain and Chainlit, but it is using, let's say, 
other dependencies also as you can see here there are many other packages which are installed when we install those two libraries or packages and the next thing is uh, if you go here we can just run the python file but before that we need to go inside the file so what is here i have just taken the same uh, let's say the uh, python file which i have shown you in the previous video also how to use other open source llms so the main idea of showing you this is that you can use the same file and if you know one concept of using things you can replicate the same thing again and again right the main thing here is we need to have olama and we can just provide different models inside this olama and we are importing the olama from langchain community.llms that's all we need to do and other things is just the a chain lead on start what should we do i'm just providing a jpeg file of uh, this gemma and we are just providing the uh, message here when it starts the application and there is the system message you can just play around with this and now i'm just saying that this is a historian right and then the question then we have the runables uh, we are just part passing the prompt and the model same things we do in the langchain expression language right so the next thing is just uh, running this in the in the chain lead that's all we, there is nothing fancy here but the next thing now we need to do is make sure that you have olama installed in your machine right for that i can go to the terminal and if you run olama it should show something like this meaning that it is installed in your machine and if you want to see what what are the let's say the models installed yeah just you can just do list and we have this gemma 2b you can also use gemma 7b if you want but i'm just going small model here and the next thing you need to make sure if it is running or not installing and running are two different things right this shows that it is installed if it is running or not you can just check with this port so 11434 is where the olama is running so if you run this and it shows that olama is running then we can use this for langchain let's say in that way so now what we can do is we can just run the python file so what i'm going to do is run chain lead right run and what is the file we have let me first list the file here so i will do ls okay langchain gemma olama right so i will run chain lead langchain gemma olama dot pi so yeah it says here okay langchain gemma olama dot pi no such command okay there is no run so chain lead run langchain gemma olama.py as you can see it says loaded.env file it's already loaded and yeah hello there i am gemma how can i help you and the good looking logo is here and we can just check first if it is working or not hi it's using olama and you can expand this okay this is the same thing as it is mentioned okay greetings it is pleasure to be this this we can just ask whatever questions we want who are you the same question i asked before okay and the good thing is that as you can see here it, the answer is quite fast also and you can just ask here okay can you solve this math equation x plus 3x equals to 1 what is the value of x something like this so yeah <laughs> it is showing in the dollar sign but yeah it gets the answer that okay x plus 3x 4x equals to 1 and it is getting the answer but as you can see here all the different things are shown here this is some strange things that always appears so yeah now you can just play around with this uh, whatever you want to ask and now i will show you the traces in langsmith that is really good because now i go here in the langsmith i will go to the projects and this is the gemma olama chain lead and as you can see here all the calls that i made into that particular model from olama is being registered here and now you can just explore here in the langsmith website to see okay what is the latency and just here also you can see okay what is the tokens being used what is the cost okay it's free so there is no cost how much it took for the first token milliseconds and then metadata reference and so on and also on the right side there is the details which it is shown here right and the good thing is if you click on top of this it will open in the new ui let's say here and you can just click inside this and you will see okay prompt and completion and you can just go here okay, what is the question what is the output and you can then go and add to a data set and do lots of things in langsmith 
for more detailed explanation please watch this lang smith for beginners video that i created three days before so yeah that's all i want to show you in this video now i hope you know uh, how to create a simple let's say ui using chain lead and using the olama and the models which is downloaded by olama and yeah that's all for this video in the next video what i'm trying to do is uh, let's say uh, how can you use models from hogging fish and make your own model uh, using olama and use that with the same approach that we went through in this video if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment section other than that thank you for watching and see you in the next video